Hey everyone. So I'm making this video because it's been impossible to find any content about this, this nest. Um, I actually found it from one YouTuber and I was like, okay, it's a pretty good nest um, to build, but it's being impossible to purchase um, on eBay, Amazon. Um, I had some issues with an AliExpress uh, purchase. Um, I had to open up a dispute with AliExpress, uh, but long story short is I, I managed to buy it from another seller um, who actually, he says he lives and works in the factory and he had stock to send out immediately. I paid him uh, and within 12 hours, he already sent me a photo of the Korea, like um, of the Korea like label um, and the box and the packaging and everything else. So here's the NAS. Um, feel free to pause it here if you want this information. Um, that's the other side of the box. Um, um, click pause again if you if you want to uh, There's nothing special inside the box. Um, it just came packaged really well um, This box was in another courier box. So it's a plain round round box when it arrives to you um, This is the NAS over here um, This color I have is like a I won't say it's like a gray. It looks like a more like a bluish gray um, Okay, uh, the front ports, um, type C, 3.5 mil, USB 3 power. Um, the rear, I just uh, shoved everything in here, but it actually comes uh, well placed in the box, but that's the parts here. And let me go through the parts list first. Um, so it already includes uh, five L-shaped SATA cables. Well, there's four in here. The other one is probably in here. There you go. So you got your four L shapes. It even comes with an L shape power supply. Um, these are the, the drive bay um, screws and handles. Um, these are the legs here. So this is actually meant to be placed upright as well. So these screws just pretty much um, screw on here. So you could actually keep it um, on the floor like this. Um, so it sucks air directly from the bottom and blows it out the top. Um, this is the manual. Um, so feel free to pause it or fast forward it. These are the these are the parts list here. Uh, just pause as you go. So it has a pretty um, comprehensive instruction list. Um, so I, you shouldn't have an, have any any drama with this. So I just went in and I screwed on on the feet. Um, it's gonna sit uh, pretty well, but I don't plan to use it uh, in this way. I just screwed it on so I don't the pass doesn't get lost. Um, and uh, and underneath, it's uh, a proper. It's quite a good quality like rubber, um, so it's not gonna slide anywhere. And uh, it has one thumb screw. And you just slide it out like so. Um, this case actually uh, actually arrived in great condition, no damages whatsoever. Um, so you have your um, sl your slot here for the motherboard. Uh, your PSU slot is go is here. Your power supply goes in this area. Uh, your drive bays slide in here. And your, there's a 2.5 inch slot somewhere. Um, there's this place to screw on a 3.5 inch drive. Um, 
it'll I'll show you in another video. Um, the fan seems pretty good quality. I'm no fan fan expert, but it doesn't seem like cheap quality. So um, for the OS, I'm going to be running uh, TrueNAS, um, TrueNAS scale because I'm doing a brand new, um, brand new fresh build. I'm still waiting for my Western Digital Reds Plus to arrive. Um, so I don't have the drives yet, but I got some drives here. I, I may be using, I'm going to find a way to use uh, two drives together in, in a RAID. Um, so in case one drive fails, I'll still have my OS on the other drive. Um, or, or I may just do the OS in here on one drive for now until I figure out a uh, 3D printed in, in, enclosure for these two. Um, for the motherboard, I went with the um, um, ROG Strogstrex B55i gaming, uh, it's a gaming board. I got this actually secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it was $200, whereas brand new is about $400. Um, so I've already went on and installed the SATA expansion slot. Um, I purchased this SATA expansion bay from um, from Ali from AliExpress. Um, it has a it has a it came with a heatsink um, because I've seen a lot of people complaining about uh, like a lot of reviews, blogs, and blogs and Reddit and. Um, various places they're complaining about uh, the the board getting too hot um, the rear m.2 I'm going to be using the um, the Samsung uh, 980 Pro it's a PCIe 4 NVMe uh, with 250 gig drive this is only going to be for cash uh, but even though it's PCI 4 the rear M.2 is only it's only PCI three, but the front PCI the uh, front M. dot slot is um, sorry the front NVMe slot is actually a uh, four it's a four four speed slot, but I can't use that in the front one because I need the SATA plugs here. Um, I won't be using the heat um, the heat heat shrink. I mean sorry heat sink <laughs> um, because I can't use it anyway. So this is the motherboard here. And I went with the uh, low profile RAM, which is a Corsair DDR32 gigs, um, two times 16 gigs slots. And um, they're still in the box. I got this from Amazon. Um, most of my parts I purchased from Amazon, mainly because of Amazon's amazing um, customer service policy. Any issues, any any anything at all, you just call customer service and they immediately help you out. No issues, no no questions, no complaining. Um, whereas you buy from a general a store, they give you such a big drama. Uh, there's like zero after sales customer service in most of the computer stores, um, which is why I try to purchase most of my stuff from Amazon um, if I can. Um, for the um, the processor, I went with the AMD Ryzen 7 5700G. Um, it comes with the built-in built -in graphics with this one here. Um, it's overkill for this NAS, I know. But I figured, um, why not? Go big or go home. I mean, I probably wouldn't even use it, but it's always... Um, Good to have a, a powerful CPU lying around in case I need to pull it out and put it somewhere else. Um, the pro, the PSU, I went with the Corsair 750 watt, also from Amazon. Um, it's a pretty little tiny CPU. I, I mean, yeah, PSU. It's a pretty pretty tiny actually, but it's really heavy, um, extremely heavy. So, 
This is just gonna set inside here. And then I uh, gotta do some wire management for this. Um, and that's pretty much my my parts list. So I guess uh, you'll see in the next video when I actually try to put it uh, put it together. Bye.